Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. Today we have a pick a card for how do they feel about you. We have three piles today, pile one, pile two, and pile three. Pile one is this clear quartz bracelet. Pile two is red garnet, it's a deep red. And then pile three is, I think it's red jade. So comment down below if you think this is a different crystal. I can't remember what this bracelet is, but I think it's red jade. So we have three piles here. Take a deep breath, choose from the heart. Pause the video if you need to. Timestamps are in the description box below, and we're going to get started with Pile 1. Hey, Pile 1. If you chose this beautiful clear quartz, this is your reading. How does he feel about you? How does she feel about you? This person misses you. Both of these cards, like, he's thinking of you. You guys still have an intuitive, um, you guys are both psychic or you're both spiritual, but you have a telepathic connection with this person, even here. It's like you are a part of them. They're a part of you. You guys could be um, twin flames or karmic soulmate, soul tie, take what resonates, but there's a piece of you that is in this person and a part of them is still connected to you. This person thinks about you so much. Both of these cards, when this person thinks of you, you feel them or vice versa. One of you guys likes ravens or crows or both of you do. You guys feel each other. Time after time is what I'm getting. If I could turn back time, if I could find a way. One of you guys is very spiritual here with the cross. Very connected to the divine earth angel type of energy. It was a matter of time. This was meant to happen, Archangel Michael. Heart of a warrior, divine protection, synchronicity. So yes, you were being protected by your spiritual team from someone that you walked away or let go of pile one. You can't stop thinking about this person, 111, because this person is always thinking of you. You might be an air sign with the bird and the mind, which is giving me Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and the wings and earth angel. This person likes music, or you do, with the four, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person thinks of you. This person could have other people, or they could already be in a relationship, but you're the one that got away, or you're the one that they can't stop thinking about. With the lovers, definitely could be a Gemini here that has feelings for you. This person feels like you are in another relationship. With the five and this, excuse me, the okay, so five, Something happened that changed this connection with the Four of Cups and then the Six of Gemini. It's like marrying. So you guys marry each other. I'm really getting like a twin flame dynamic. This person wonders if you still think of them, if you still miss them. I feel like you're not talking to this person. But with the Page of Wands, they want to speak to you. With the Eight of Cups, you left them. You could be a strong empath, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming through really strongly. This person wants to know if you miss them. Do you feel the same way? Can we try again? Two, two, two. There is an imbalance that happened in this connection. You left. But this was your person. With the Six of Pentacles, they could have cheated on you, flirted with somebody else. There was an imbalance with the scales, more air energy, Libra. And then with the Six, and then the Six here, and then the Four. You guys are definitely marrying each other. This was a twin flame dynamic, but someone screwed up. Someone wandered in the wrong path or someone does not. I'm hearing someone didn't care. Someone doesn't care. You might be over it, but you're just kind of wanting some closure. You know you're protected. You know this person thinks of you, but you kind of just want to know how they feel. They still miss you, pal one. With the clear quartz, they might be wanting more truth and clarity. They feel like you cheated them out of a relationship, even though it might be their fault. But they're wanting to kind of uh, flip the script on you. This person could have been manipulative with the air, Gemini energy, which rules Mercury. They want to see if there's a chance to get back in your good graces. They want to speak to you. They're hoping that you will want to heal this connection somehow, some way. It's like, I didn't get to explain myself. Let me explain. I still love you. Can we try again? Like, this person is not done in their mind. They can't stop thinking about you. Because they have something to say. And what do they say? I'm, what are they going to say? I'm sorry. Please don't leave me. Please, let's try again. I love you. I realize I screwed up. These people, I don't care about them anymore. I want you. Can we please talk? This person misses you a lot. With the clear quartz, it's like they finally realize that you were the one that got away. Pile one, I don't feel like you're in this connection. And if you are, there's some like disconnection or um, distance right now. But this person does miss you. They're thinking of you and they want to talk to you. For some of them, they can't because you blocked them. If this person is not blocked, they will be messaging you. They want to try again. 
but this is a strong telepathic communication. I really do feel Archangel Michael is protecting this divinely guided union, or you're heavily protected by Archangel Michael, and you're trusting your intuition, but yes, the messages that you've been receiving from this person intuitively, the answer is yes, you're not crazy. No, you're not crazy. Yes, this person is connecting to you telepathically. You could be dreaming or thinking about this person randomly. You see something, their name, something that reminds you of them, the car they drive, whatever. 444, it's happening for a reason. This person wants to come back into your life. Expect a message soon is what I'm getting, but this person does miss you. So that's how they feel about you, Pile 1. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap on the notifications bell so you get all my updated video. Let me know if any of this resonates or if this is your sign, your reading. We're going to get into Pile number 2. Hey, Pile 2. If you chose this pile, the red garnet, which talks about grounding root chakra lots of sexual energy here you guys might be fire signs with the red aries leo sagittarius you're dealing with one or you have a strong fire placement somewhere in your birth chart or they do there's a lot of passion here so the first cards that i'm going to focus on are these first two this first one just looking at it intuitively there's a lot of throat chakra blockage here but with the green you're healing your heart space you could be dealing with a musician someone who plays a saxophone or is a singer, they're creative, they're very protective of their energy, they're very intellectual though. This person has a lot of spiritual abundance, or you do, with sacred geometry and the power of three. I feel like you guys are definitely strong healers of some sort, whoever I'm reading for. Pile two, there's a throat blockage because my throat is like shutting down. <clears throat> this person has a hard time expressing themselves. They express themselves through music. 24 could be their age, your age. A specific date four and two is the number six which is a number of love and numerology which talks about you know garnet passion so i feel like this person has a lot of love for you but it is very sexual energy this person could be thinking of getting you pregnant but you stopped yourself from that maybe you're on birth control you're meant to have a child with this person pile two or you already have one a cultural experience that's behind you regression past life so you do have a past life with this person with judgment i'm getting this could be a karmic relationship you are getting a second chance. It's like two people here. It could be same sex. It doesn't have to be. But it's like the second time around. The first time you guys screwed up. And the second time around is this lifetime. You guys are reincarnated together to try again. Because you're supposed to be together. Maybe the first time it was screwed up. But this time it's not. Someone's name could be Lily. Or they like Lilies. Or Lilith is the type of energy that you connect to. You could be very independent if you're a woman. If you're a masculine energy. You don't like being like you don't like people to be clingy you guys are both very independent energies here is what i'm getting both you guys have a lot of spiritual abundance but one is more closed off than the other one has a lot of love to give and the other one doesn't know how to be vulnerable or express themselves hence the lilith energy i will not submit to you type of archetype <clears throat> With the Leo strength card here, 222, two, two, you guys are being given a chance to restore balance. So how does this person feel about you? They feel like they screwed up and they want to do better. There's a lot of work here. I'm hearing a root chakra energy. This person can't stop thinking about you. This could be a Leo or this is you, but I feel like you guys are just very strong together. This person is starting to see that there's something here between you and them. With the strength card, it's like you could be the stronger I'm getting air placement here with the wind, so you're either a Leo or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's something here. You're more open to communication, but this person is not. This person has more healing that they have to do here with the Page of Cups. This person is definitely younger than you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. With the Ten of Wands, they feel like they don't want to cause any burdens in your life. You make them very happy, more sun, Leo. You guys do have a past life as Egyptians or royalty is what I'm getting, or Egyptian past lives with the Three of Pentacles. This person has a lot of work to do. Someone could have a past life as a Mason or a past loved one as a Mason here because I'm seeing this as like a Masonic type of energy. But I'm also getting this person is very hard working. This relationship is going to require a lot of work in order for stability. So this person feels very burdened. They feel like they're not on your level. They see you as someone very beautiful, very strong with the Leo energy strength card. And they see themselves as someone who has to put in a lot of work in order to give you the stability that you seek. They know that you are worth fighting for here with the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong Sagittarius here. This person really loves you. They like you. They're attracted to you. But they know they have to put in some work to fix something that happened. It's like they have to heal something. And they're working really hard to give you some type of stability here. They want to heal the connection. They want to be that person for you. 
with the Queen of Swords, you could be a Libra. And with the Emperor Aries Taurus energy coming through, this person feels like this relationship would be a lot of hard work. This person could already have a family or other responsibilities, but they are very focused on you. And they know you're guarded because you could have had a past um, relationship or a past life that was very unhealthy or toxic you guys recognize each other but you don't fully understand she has peacock feathers here and the first card was the same thing this person has peacock feathers here so you guys recognize this connection and you know there's some potential for a relationship but you guys are gonna have to put in the work together both of you are very guarded the queen of swords is someone who's been through it doesn't take any bs from anybody only accepts truth and clarity but as quickly as she is to speak up she will cut you out of her life and the emperor very strong demanding mars energy god of war has a lot of healing but comes off as a very strong closed off individual might be passive aggressive at times but very much competitive and in their own energy and their own power with both of these cards the emperor and the queen this gives me definitely like royalty energy right with this card here this these this was you like you guys were both egyptian your other half you guys could be soulmates here and you're reliving it in this lifetime there's an age difference here this person likes you you like them i'm getting strong leo gemini Libra, aquarius and aries taurus there's really all of the signs here because i think i picked up cancer pisces scorpio this is a relationship that's divinely guided 555 it's karmic there are changes but this person does care for you there's an age gap there's a musician here this person could have um responsibilities to their family or a family literally they could have kids or they just have a strong connection to family and tradition but this person does see you for who you are and there's a need to bring more light and restore this connection because you guys are destined or there's this is a relationship kind of like osiris and um isis is what i'm getting like you guys have been resurrected from the dead with the judgment card so you guys can come together in this lifetime both of you guys are very strong and gifted and powerful in your own way very independent you guys could both be leaders ceo you have your own business or you kind of just work in a manner where you call the shots you're the leader somehow some way this queen of swords is very intuitive with all of the swords she's very strong she's gifted she sees the truth and this masculine energy knows that the queen of swords knows the truth so there's no way that you can lie because you guys are both illuminated you know that you've been enlightened to the truth and there's a strong bond to connection here you guys are like a power couple literally isis and osiris vibes is what i'm getting 707 a strong spiritual bond here so you guys have a past life together there's more to it than just a, a oh he likes me she likes me no this is a spiritual divinely guided connection pile two and it's going to take a lot of work to stay together but this person feels you're worth fighting for with the seven of wands you guys could already be facing some challenges here you could have been psychically attacked and you're doing reversal spells to protect your union because you know the Queen of Swords is being attacked by someone. And the Emperor is aware of how strong you are. And the Emperor knows that you can handle your own. So this person is waiting patiently for you to come back to them. But there's a lot of happiness here. This person has a lot of patience and they love you, Pile 2. I really do see that. This is a divinely guided union, Pile 2. It is karmic, but it is turning into some type of a... You have a spiritual contract with this person and i don't feel it's negative i feel it's more like to stand your ground and to fight for this connection where this person feels this way about you that you are worth fighting for 808 as i say that so that's what i have for you pile two i send you many blessings please like comment share subscribe let me know if this resonates we're going to get into pile number three hey pile three if you chose this pile with the red i believe it's red jade you guys could be i feel like this is about abundance and protecting your spiritual abundance protecting your well-being protecting your money protecting your finances this person could have a love of money or you do i'm hearing that song for the love of money gotta get that money man so it's like you guys are really invested in your career your financial success here um you have you're connected to your higher self or a past love one pile three i really just you're gifted you're spiritual you are psychic you're medium you're a healer, you're an empath light worker, you're something very divinely protected. You connect, as some of you guys are a medium here because I see like one realm, another realm. You're the in between, you're the bridge with Merkaba here of protection, um, strong crown chakra activation, universal Merkaba. 
34, you could be that age, or 34 is a 7, which talks about spiritual abundance, connection to the divine, sacred purpose. You have the answer, lucid dreaming, yeah. So you could be getting messages or dreams about this person, pile 3, and how they feel because you feel so connected to them in spirit. There's a strong connection here. There's something about healing your root chakra or sacral chakra, 111, trust your intuition, which could be why you were drawn to the red. Your lower chakras have been tainted or imbalance due to other relationships that have hurt you you could have had some type of ptsd or a traumatic relationship that really hurt you dark night of the souls um very sad some could have been depressed for what i'm getting here but you are a light worker you've gone through a dark night of the souls you need to work on cleansing and balancing uh reiki on your lower chakras for sure sacral and solar plexus and root chakra especially the root with the red then you have these two roses here with um the two swans and well-being so you could be 36 or that equals a nine i'm hearing a spiritual love of yourself self-preservation serves the spirit youthful experience so you guys look really young is what i'm getting so this looks like an older woman but she's very young at heart you've met your true love your other half your swan here with the two roses um this person feels like you are the one you're very divine you're very feminine you're very much in your energy of love and light there's a lot of red here which talks about passion and a strong grounded connection this person feels like you are wifey material and they want to be with you with the hermit this scares them a virgo energy because he's looking sideways like uh, what's happening like really is this really going like what is this really my person they could be surprised that they have so many emotions here with the water it's like they just can't believe that you're the one they've gone within to see the truth and they've been illuminated that you have a lot of wisdom where this person does you guys are both old souls the feminine looks younger the masculine needs some rest is what i'm getting the feminine does their makeup very nicely not too much but looks very good nice um the feminine could have reddish auburn color hair Something about the feminine's eyes are very mysterious to the masculine. The masculine admires this, but with the Virgo Hermit card, this masculine tries to hide their emotions and not to show too much because they are scared of how strong this connection is. But they do have a lot of hidden emotions for you, whoever you're dealing with, Pile 3. How do they feel about you? That you're very mystical, magical, mysterious. They feel like they had a hollow victory with you in the past. They were defeated because... They hid something from you with the moon card and truth was revealed. They're realizing that hiding their emotions from you is only causing burdens in this connection. With this wounded warrior Chiron energy, they feel bad for the way they behaved, something that they did. They could have lied to you to make you think like they had to compete. You had to compete for them. And they don't want you to leave them and they feel bad for their behavior. And with the chariot and the star card, Cancer, Aquarius energy. This person wants to come towards you now. With the Knight of Coins, more towards Virgo Capricorn energy. This person wants to heal the connection. You might be seeing 777. I just heard that song from Prince. Baby, what's your phone number? So this could be your relationship that was kind of like very flirtatious at first and it turned into something serious. The masculine asked the feminine for their number. This person was very attracted to your body and now they're realizing that there's more to this connection than just a sexual energy. You guys are yin and yang. You balance each other out with the black and the white horse here. And the chariot and the way this masculine is looking at the feminine, he really likes your body. With the star card, they see you as very beautiful, very divine. They see you as wifey material, pile three, they really do. They're starting to realize that you are their person. And with the Knight of Pentacles, this person took a long ass time to realize it, but he's got this pentacle and he is ready to work on this connection. They feel like you're worth it. I'm hearing that sound. Give it to me. I'm worth it, baby. I'm worth it. So the Divine Feminine is very much in her element here. She's like living her life, doing her thing in the spotlight. You could be um, someone who is a public speaker or you're very well known in your community, you are a tarot reader, you could have a YouTube channel, a social media following, and this person is just watching you do your thing, and this person is very attracted to the fact that you're very abundant, you're very independent, you don't ask this person for anything, it's like you don't ask for any handouts, you're very much in your own element, and this person sees how beautiful you are, and this person is really a little bit scared, 
is what I'm getting because they're so guarded with all of this armor but they're realizing that you are stable with the bear here spirit animal 555 five, five. significant changes are going to happen this person is going to come towards you you are their wish they care for you they love you they like you they know you're their person you could have told them this and then you had a hollow victory and they let you down because they didn't believe in your spirituality but now they're starting to see the truth that there is something more than just a physical physical attraction i heard fisher for some um maybe this person likes fishing they're fisherman or fisher could be your last name um but I'm also getting, um, that talks about fish, talks about abundance. So there's a lot of spiritual abundance in this connection, this union. They know you're loyal and they know with the bear here that you will protect them, vice versa. This person wants to protect you. They really care. They want to be that person. They want to be that man for you. Some of you guys like country music. I don't know why I keep hearing that song, I want to be your man. I don't even know what that is. But this person does want to be your divine counterpart for sure, pile three. So that's what I have for you. I send you many blessings. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tap on the notifications bell. Let me know if this resonates. If you want to see any particular type of video, comment down below. If you want a personal reading, info is in the description box below. And I send you many blessings. Bye, guys.